Hi, this is Brandon Moore. I'm from North Attleboro, Massachusetts, and you're watching TJV Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Monday morning, everybody. It's a beautiful, sunshiny morning. I said it's going to be a beautiful day. Hope you had a good weekend. Get back to trucking. Got us a tri-axle 53 foot roll tight today. Got to bring this up to Woodlands, Manitoba, which is uh, northwest of northwest of Winnipeg. Yeah, up Highway 6, I believe. Got a whole load of this. Steel. Looks heavy. Just gonna walk around here and check all the straps, make sure that they're still tight. All the way down here to the back. Is there more space on the other side? I probably took the most difficult way, right? Let's check this all out. I'm still gonna wash these trailers on the inside. Tight, tight. Whoever brought this in was really diligent with the straps that's good to see everything is very tight as it should be with a load like this this load's probably pretty heavy i'll check the paperwork but that's uh, that's pretty heavy there we go and usually this load would have to be tarped right hence the roll tight love these trailers i really do they can be a real pain in the butt sometimes like they can be a real, especially in winter time and when the rollers aren't working properly and you got to be careful with them because they're really fragile so you can't force them to do anything they don't want to do you sort of got to sit there and talk them through it and convince them to open and close sometimes or sometimes you need two guys but uh definitely is worth it to me i really like it's just easier than tarping. So much easier. Look at this. It's cut my tarp jobs that I have to do down almost 100%. Like 95%. Rarely ever have to tarp a load now. We still do tarping, but uh, compared to what we used to do, rare, very rare. So just remember when you hook up to a trailer that somebody else loaded. Uh, whoever did this did a fantastic job, but uh, never trust anyone, okay? Doesn't matter who tied it down, when you hook onto a new trailer, go in there and check it all, okay? Because I've missed things before too when I'm loading. Other people miss things too. Double check my work, I'll double check yours. Because now that I'm hooked onto this load, this load is mine. So if there's anything wrong with it, my responsibility. Can't blame it on the guy before me. Oh, he didn't tie it down right. So uh, when I tie a load down and I leave it in the yard here and you hook onto it, make sure you double check it. Make sure I didn't miss anything. You can see the door behind me there in, the, in my mirrors. I've got a back in there inside the building. Uh, they're just clearing space right now and making room for me. And then I back into the building, they close the door, I open the trailer. And then there's a big overhead crane that rolls along the top of the building and they lift the steel off off the trailer and put it on the ground beside the trailer. And then when I'm done, I close up the trailer and I drive out. Easy as that and it's all indoors. I really like these receivers and shippers when they do this. And it's one of the only ways to unload such heavy and large pieces of steel. Otherwise you'd need a massive forklift outside and it kind of defeats the purpose because if it's raining, you can't unload or, or load the trailer then because the steel can't get wet. That's why it's in a covered trailer. And you can't put it in a van trailer because they have to unload it from the top because there's no way to unload it from the back and pull it out the back, it's too heavy. They could probably create some kind of system for that, but it's just easier this way. So once they open that door behind me there, they're gonna guide me in and uh, I'm gonna start unloading. It shouldn't take too long once I'm in there. We're all backed in now. I got everything open. Got all the straps off the load, ready to roll up here out of their way. 
they got a big overhead crane in there that comes up over the load and picks it up there it's pretty neat make sure you roll up all your straps nice you always got to remember when you're working around cranes always wear your brain bucket you don't want anything falling on you not like this would do much to uh, prevent injury from these things they're pretty heavy but you know just in case oh here comes the crane right now can you see it already There it is. Big 10 ton crane. It's pretty neat. And they have a forklift there helping as well. Probably just gonna take the top one off with that. And then they'll take the lower layers off with the crane. I'm gonna roll up my straps in the meantime so that when they're done, I'm ready to go. It's pretty neat how things work, okay? It was a little bit different than I thought it, than I thought it would be. Uh, I thought they were gonna unload it right off the truck with the overhead crane. They were actually unloading one little bundle at a time with a forklift, putting it on the ground, then picking it up with that overhead crane, and then putting it away into storage on the other side of the, the building over there, so lifting it up and over all the other stuff, and then putting it behind. I guess maybe rotating their stock so that the older stuff gets used sooner sort of what it looked like anyways but pretty neat either way I get to see that kind of thing all the time makes the job fun when it's something different every day now I don't know what the rest of the day has planned it's uh a one o'clock or so by the time I get back it'll be two maybe we'll do one more thing today at I have got some pretty big news, everybody. And I'm gonna try not to get all choked up while I uh, tell you this, because I got pretty choked up when I got the news myself. Uh, how can I say this? This Peterbilt is soon going to be replaced by a Kenworth W900 in this shop. I just bought the truck I've wanted for 26 years. Let's clarify something. We haven't signed the paperwork yet, but we have all of the I's dotted, all of the T's crossed. I've gotten my approval. I've gotten everything together that I need to have together. And we've gotten all green lights. As of four o'clock today, I am buying a 2008 Kenworth W900. L. It's gonna be flat top sleeper or mid roof, what they call it. It's blue to match my motorcycle. And I've wanted this for 26 years since I was eight years old when I decided I'm gonna be a truck driver one day. I've owned a couple of trucks in the past already, but the, it, it's never been the one. It's always been a truck of convenience, a truck that's available. Now, I've owned a couple of trucks in the past. I've leased one, I've owned one. And uh, I know what headaches await me in the future. But this one's different. This is a headache that I chose, handpicked. I found the truck, the truck. I'm so excited to show you guys. Hopefully within a week, I can show it to you and do the big reveal here on my channel. But this is, uh, this is big, big for me. Other than, you know, getting married and meeting my wife, career-wise, as a truck driver, this is going to be the biggest day of my life when I take that truck home. And I got couches in my shop. Have you noticed? 
I almost forgot to tell you that. Who cares about that, right? I'm getting a Kenworth W900, but there's uh, couches here. Who cares about that in Kenworth? So, uh, yeah, I want to have it up and running by June 1st. So we got to get plates, we got to get registration, licensing, IFTA, we got to get decals, or as you uh, uh, Americans call it, decals. We got to get the truck all, uh, all uh, done up with those. And I'm going to be running as an owner operator on regional fleet at Keystone Western. So I'll be home every weekend. Uh, most likely home once during the week too, most weeks, uh, depending on how much money we want to make. It's a 2008. It's got a rebuild about 600,000 kilometers ago, a full rebuild on the engine, uh, everything done. Uh, that's 600,000, what is that, 400,000 miles ago? So it's got about another three, four years on the engine before I have to start thinking about rebuilding it again. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost speechless right now. I'm, I'm, I don't know what to say. When I got the approval at like four o'clock, it was like 4.02. That will be a time that will live in infamy in my mind. At 4.02, I got the phone call and they said, Josh, she's yours. All you gotta do is come in and sign and uh, you can take her home. So hopefully uh, next weekend or so, maybe we can do a, a tour, show you guys the truck. I have so many plans for the truck. What we're going to be doing with this truck and the reason uh, I'm so excited, we're going to be building it into a show truck. I'm gonna take it to as many shows as I can, as I can afford to go to, because I still gotta make money, so I'm gonna have to pay for it. And uh, we're gonna build it from the ground up, rebuild it and stretch the frame. We'll worry about all of that later. We can talk about that at a later date. Right now, let's just get it here. I've got these couches here now because we've got new couches coming in the house, right? I've got these couches here now where we can uh, just sit right here and stare at it as soon as it gets here. So this uh, Peterbilt, I've shined up quite a bit. I'm actually kind of proud of the work I've done to it. It is better than I found it, and the next driver who gets into it will have a better nicer looking truck than uh, I got into when I got into it. And that was my goal. Leave things better than you found them. Always make them better. Whatever it is, you get given something to use, take care of it and make it better in, in some way, even if it's just small or if it's bigger like this. And that's my big news. I got through it without choking up, so that's good. That means uh, <laughs> I'm doing good. Very excited, I'm very excited. Uh, we're gonna be back on the road. Another big exciting thing is that Diesel's gonna be back in the truck with me. As soon as that thing's on the road, me and Diesel will be back on the road. We won't be going as long distance as we did in the beginning, long ago. I have a family at home now. And uh, we're gonna grow that. And we're uh, looking to uh, you know, have a couple of children, as you guys know. We're building a house, that's still on track we want to build by 2027 don't worry buying a truck doesn't slow that down it doesn't affect that at all we're still gonna because the truck makes you money so that's still on track we're still gonna be building a house and starting a family and i'm gonna be home every weekend and probably once during the week as well we'll see how it goes but i'm, I'm very very happy brit's happy there's the big news surprise but I am going to leave you hanging on a few things. I'm not going to show you any pictures yet. My family and close friends have seen it already. But uh, I want you to stay tuned because as soon as we sign the paperwork and uh, I take possession of it, I'm going to do a tour of it. And this is, starts a whole new chapter on my channel here as well because we're going to be building this truck into a show truck together here on this channel. I want you guys to be involved in it. So what I want to do is I want to come up with a list of modifications and improvements I want to do to the truck. And you're going to have a say in what happens to the truck. I'm going to make a list of things. This is what I'd like to do to the truck. What should we do first? What should we do next? You'll have a say in that. We'll have a vote. And together, we'll build this truck. My dad wants to help me build this truck as well. So here in this shop is probably where all everything's gonna happen. So whatever me and my dad can do together, we're gonna do. And uh, we'll do it right here on YouTube with you as well. And if you guys want us to do stacks first 
Well, then we go and do the stacks. We'll go buy the stacks and I'll take you guys along when we go buy them as we bring them here and the whole process of installing them. And then we'll do a vote, see what we do next. Well, should we do the visor next? Should we do an air ride front suspension next? Should I do a bumper next? Fiberglass rear fenders next? Uh, mud flaps, the whole rear assembly here. Uh, chicken lights and chrome to the moon. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, so it'll be a whole new step for us as a family here on YouTube. And definitely a whole new step for me and my family here in the in Manitoba as well. That's the big news. That's all, I, that's all I got to tell you. That is the biggest news I have delivered on this channel so far yet. So I hope you're as excited as I am. If you haven't already, subscribe because the future is going to be a lot of fun. You don't want to miss it. What is this? Oh, it feels nice on my face. Is that, could it be? Sunlight. So I'm in a good mood. Just want to wrap this up. I know my vlogs lately have been uh, uh, lacking compared to what they have been in the past. Uh, I've had a lot of things going on, obviously. <laughs> we bought a truck. Uh, I'm gonna wait to give you the tour of it though. I'm gonna be trying to release my videos uh, every day, like the next day now. Because right now I'm filming a video, this video is from Monday, so it would usually be released the following Monday. And I really don't like doing that because then it feels very, I feel very disconnected. You know, especially when I go read the comments, the, the, the vlog is new for you guys, but for me, it happened a week ago already. So I'm reading your comments and I'm trying to relate to what you're commenting on. I'm got to think back and remember what happened that day. And it's confusing for me. It's confusing for you. The only reason I do it is because it's very convenient. It's very nice to be able to, you know, get back at the end of a very long day and not have to edit. I still have a video to go up tomorrow because it's last week's video. And then I can edit all my videos on the weekend instead of every evening. It frees up my evenings during the week, but it bogs down my weekends. So I don't have a full day on the weekend is just gone to editing videos. Whereas if I just spent like a couple of hours every day, my evenings are gone, but then I have my weekend. It's, it's trying to decide what works best for me here. And I'm gonna, I've gone back and forth like this over the last 10 years and so or so quite a few times. And I think we're gonna go back to releasing the next day. So you're gonna get a vlog dump this long weekend, May long weekend. I'm, uh, when I'm filming this clip right here, it's Sunday of May long weekend. Do you guys have a May long weekend where you are? We do now, what's the date today? May 21st, something like that? Beautiful weekend out here though. So you're gonna get a vlog dump today and tomorrow from all of last week. And then we're gonna start releasing videos from the day before. So when you watch a video on Tuesday, that will be my day from the day before. Like Monday, you'll watch Tuesday. So you get like immediate, like that's as quickly as I can do it because I still have to you know, live the day, film it, and then edit it, and then release it at a time when you guys are mostly, all of you are awake so that you can watch it and you don't miss it and it doesn't get lost in your feed. So that's, we're gonna try that. It's a little bit more, uh, go 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 for me that way but i think it'll free up my weekends more either way i gotta get these videos edited right and either way it's a lot of work but i've been doing this for a long time it's something i really enjoy doing so we're not gonna stop so i just gotta decide when when i want to do my work <laughs> kind of nice i'm sort of self-employed with this here thank you very much for uh, uh putting up with all the ads that you see here on youtube uh all of the money we've made from that in the past a year or so has gone towards our IVF procedure and we're still uh, uh, waiting on that. There's still a few more things we gotta go through. So there's no news on that yet, but the money we've made off of that has gone towards that. So I appreciate your patience with all of the ads that you've been seeing on my videos. Uh, they help us out uh, for that. And in the future, uh, a lot of that money is going to be going towards this new truck and uh, getting it ready for shows, uh, new accessories. We'll, we'll see what happens really. The truck is the big news though, and right now I'm just waiting to take possession of it. Everything's done, finished, and uh, we should have it, I'm thinking by the end of this week. There's just a bunch of work that has to be done to it first. They gotta get it safety. He's uh, changing the transmission fluid, uh, diff fluid, putting a new bumper on the front for me because that one that was on there was bent, polishing the truck, uh, and we gotta get it licensed and everything takes a few days. Uh, get the decals on there, so. 
It's coming soon, but uh, I'm not going to share what it looks like until I actually have it. That's that I'm going to leave you in suspense, and I got to leave some suspense. I couldn't keep my mouth shut about buying it, but uh, I got to leave something, something for you to wait for, right? <laughs> so yeah, it's exciting. Let's see uh, how we do with this next day vlog thing. If it doesn't work for me, we'll just go back to the week, a week later. Uh, but I do like it better doing it the next day. That that is my preferred way. It's just a little, a little more uh, work for me during the week, but. It's okay. We'll, we'll see what happens. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, especially now. I really, like I said earlier, I, I really do want you guys to be involved in building this truck. I think uh, we can find some creative ways to get you in the audience involved in what we're doing and, and when and what our projects will be on it. And uh, yeah, together uh, we can build it up and then I'll have it at a few truck shows. Maybe I'll come through uh, through your town to a truck show near you. And then you can come and meet us there and see the truck in person. And uh, we can shake hands, hang out for a bit. It's... When we were at Truck World, I really enjoyed meeting you. Uh, all of you people who, who did come out to see, see us there and all the people I met there, it was a lot of fun. And that was part of the reason why I wanted to uh, pull the trigger on this truck now too because I want to do more stuff like that. I want to bring this truck around to the different truck shows and meet you guys, hang out and uh, get to know you a little bit too you know me pretty well uh, you see me on this side of the camera I don't see you there so it's nice when we get to actually meet and uh, talk in person I'm looking forward to that in the future so stay tuned please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun we'll talk to you later in the next vlog there'll probably be about four or five that get released today and tomorrow <laughs>